Hello, Booktube. I'm Scott. No. We're Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. Today, we're asking the big question. Is Patricia Lockwood, no one is talking about this, a novel? Is it a novel? Is it a random collection of tweets? I suppose the first question is, what is a novel? Are we? Do we have to be prescriptive about what a novel is? And my gut reaction to that is... No! Oh. Bugger the rules! But what is Lockwood doing here to upset people? Why do people say that this is not a novel? I um, think. What I, is the rebellion against this I, structure? I think when most people say it's not a novel, they know that it is a novel, but they're conveying that it's not following the rules. It's not following the structure I think, that they like. I think it's, um, they're conveying that they're dissatisfied, that they're not feeling that sense of completion that you get when you read a book, because it's fragmented. But I, I don't think anyone would say that James Joyce did. Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> It's just madness on a page. Just, just picked letters at random. Sometimes they didn't even spell words and put them together. Sometimes these letters were punctuation. Let's not get <laughs> James Joyce terribly uh, damaged by <laughs> a privileged life I've lived when James Joyce's literature is the most traumatic experience I've had. Yeah, I do, I do think that you can tell that Lockwood is a poet in the structure of this novel because it's almost like we have individual poems that are somehow put together. It reminds me in a completely different way about the argument we have about Shut Up, You're Pretty, how you say it's a collection of short stories and I say, no, it's a fucking novel. Because they all run into each other and all of Lockwood's individual poems run into each other and it creates a bigger picture. It does. And also, it's not, I don't know, like if you sit there and you look at someone's Instagram feed or someone's Twitter history or their Facebook wall, don't you get a bit of a picture of who they are? Like, isn't that a background? Like, you know that that's not who they are, but it yeah. gives you an idea of how they'd like to be perceived in the world and and that sort of thing. Yeah, look, you know, if you're uh, if you're meeting up with somebody for a blind date or something... Don't you Facebook stalk them? Internet stalk them? Get on Instagram, whatever it is. See whatever you can find out about them. Go, do they vote? For conservative right-wing people. Do uh, I need to end this date? Are they interested in ritually sacrificing a goat during intercourse? Things that are important to know before the date. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not a valid form of communication. And I think that this collection of sort of tweets and memes and etc. is... It's different. It's unusual. But it's not invalid. Yeah, I don't think it's invalid at, at all. I think it, it works. And I think if a novel works, if it, if it can tell its story, if it can make you laugh, if it can portray characters, if it can make you look at the writing, then those are all things that... Yeah. I want in a novel and Lockwood's doing them all so it's a novel mm -hmm. um, and a good one and a good one and I think when the first person wrote pro people are probably saying novel didn't write poetry doesn't rhyme <laughs> Do they call them novels then? I don't know if they do. But I don't think we're going to end up with a mass movement towards tweet collections as novels. But I do think that for this particular story, it was very effective. Yeah. I also think that she has not abandoned what she knows as a poet. And there is, you know, there is meter, there is structure. They're not garbled tweets in text language. I mean, sometimes they are. Only for emphasis. Like, they're not unrealistically or unreasonable. Authors should write to their strength. That's what Lockwood has done. Yeah. It's his strength. And that has led to a slightly unconvinced structure. Well, I think the world is better for it. Yeah. Yay for the experimentation. If we didn't have people breaking the rules, we wouldn't involve Lockwood is still breaking a rule, and we'll see if that has a lasting impact on literature or not. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, check out our video also about no one is talking about this and how it, and how it compares to an ancient.